Hello, weird, wonderful, and wacky interweb that is I, David, least fit of all the Hewlett's and possibly of all the nerds as well, here with another Burn and Learn. Um, I was going to skip today. I'll admit I was going to skip today, but my when I accosted my son about the fact that he hadn't done any exercise all day, he said, well, neither of you. So I raced downstairs, leapt on the torture device, and that prompted him to go up and do a little exercise himself. So... Good parenting, David. Uh, this, I should say, is a burn and learn. This is my bit to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, currently slightly fitter, uh, and to enjoy the coming twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jay, who's making a delicious dinner upstairs. Uh, I hate exercise. It's boring. I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, self-indulgent way possible, and that's what I'm doing here, thus these videos. Um, uh, just a kind of amazing week, but I've, I've cut it a little short because it's a four-day weekend. Baz came down announcing the fact that it was a four-day weekend. He was very excited about that. So I, um, a little guilty to say this, but I, I, uh, I, I have moved a couple of my of my appointments today because he was so excited about the fact that he had four days off, and I just wanted to share in that. And and uh, uh, because I, I haven't I haven't seen a lot of him. Like he's up in his room doing his his online schooling stuff, but we, he like, he pops down for lunch and I'm usually in a meeting or something at that point. So I just never see him. And so it was just nice to see how excited he was. So we sat down and he, he walked me through some of this anime that he's watching. Um, you know, who everybody is, I get very confused. Uh, and, um, and then as I say, I forced him to do some exercise. So he now hates me again, I'm sure. Um, a uh, couple of amazing things today. I had another great chat with James Gurney, uh, who is, um, you know, uh, Dr. James Gurney, uh, our viral specialist, our specialist on, on viruses, specifically like phages, so the viruses that attack bacteria. A great chat with him about his career. I'd started to do this before a few times, and we'd done it in Minecraft, and my idea was it was going to be really fun because we'd be playing Minecraft and talking about careers, but really all that happens is we did a lot of screaming and dying. So um, so I've just started doing sort of just regular interviews with him like I have with everyone else. And uh, so that was just, it was lovely for him to do that. And again, once again, more hours of his day to talk to him. A great chat yesterday with um, the husband of my uh, professor, my spider professor friend who I spoke to on Tuesday. Um, amazing chat with him about his, uh, he's dealing with basically the, the, sort of the science of, he studies the behavior of animals, specifically, um, I think insects and um, you know, I'm not sure if it's actually arachnids, but uh, but um, you know, arachnid. What I can't remember what the name of the term is, but basically, basically, what he's studying right now is, is these little horrible little flies that fire maggots at at, at uh, grasshoppers. But basically, he's looking at how the uh, brain and the sort of the nervous system dictates the behavior of animals. So it's not about like, you know, why do they, why do they feel like that? It's like it's like ah, this this is the mechanical process or the electrical chemical process that makes these animals do what they do um, and how they communicate and that kind of stuff. So really cool, really opens up to a lot of amazing different things. Um, and again, just a great guy to talk uh, to. He is the amazing guy who came to Tech Bandits, I think it was last year, and uh, with his laser vibrometer, his laser Doppler vibrometer and a bunch of black widow spiders. And we listened to spiders using this this bounced uh, laser beam that, um, that converted uh, 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 tiny, tiny uh, vibrations into sound. So it was just oh, it was just an amazing guy. And just so excited about all this stuff too. Just curious and eager to, 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 to build things and try things. And just, yeah, I'm just amazing to talk to. Um, and uh, and I, I thank him as well for his time. He also had to, he was uh, competing with a, um, uh, with a with a tree chipper, <laughs> basically beside him, uh, that had been set up just outside his window as we started talking. But but still amazing stuff. Um, and uh, yes, and then of course James Gurney again today to catch up with him and uh, a couple of people to talk to next week that I'm hoping to confirm because that would be very nice too. And all these of course are inspired by Let's Talk Science, their uh, careers profile database, uh, where it's almost like this online guidance counselor where you could sort of type in the, the things that you like, um, the subjects that you like, uh, the, or, or the, maybe even the universities you like. I'm not sure exactly what the specifics are. Um, but and, and the idea is that it can help you narrow down jobs that you may not have known about that relate to the things that you love. And, uh, and there's nothing better than, you know, when, when you love what you do, then you're, you know, was it, if you love what you're, if you love your work, then you're never working or whatever it is. That, that's come up quite a bit actually with people. So I've been really lucky to talk to some amazing people and, uh, and more again today. And then talking about amazing people. I spoke to Lawrence Nichols today, my fantastic rock star friend um, who is uh, often working with Ron Hawkins on um, Lowest of the Low and um, 
Uh, of course, Ron does the Do Good Assassins and uh, who else? Uh, Rusty Nails. I'm mean, just a bunch of different. So he's an amazing musician. Um, Ron is what I would call Canada's Billy Bragg. I mean, he's, he's his own man, his own creative force um, and personality and all. But but uh, just a brilliant musician with the same kind of like passion and and, and love of of of, um, of of you know of people and politics and stuff. Uh, uh, that Billy Bragg has. So just just an amazing guy. And he had a great uh, free live Tuesday broadcast this week that we listened to. The whole family sat there and I embarrassed them by singing along to all the old songs that I loved. And um, uh, yeah, so it was, just, it was just a wonderful thing. Like one of those little highlights from this weird time that we're in right now. Just a, this, this this beautiful concert from, from this guy's living room, basically. Um, so, uh, so that was fantastic. Um, I feel... Um, uh, yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like, a, I feel like a long weekend. I gotta say, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm uh, hoping to do some streaming. Um, so I'm sure I'll show you, I'll see you at, at some point during that. I'm also going to work on my Techlets newsletter. So hopefully that'll be going out. If you want to be a part of this newsletter where I just sort of let people know about all the, the, um, uh, tech bandit stuff that I'm, that I, that I'm onto and a few sort of inspirations that I found on the internet, uh, sign up at the techbandits.com. Um, and uh, you also you also get it through Patreon as well if you want if you want to throw a few bucks our way. Um, and uh, I will mention DStat again, our fantastic sponsor, who is who's a who's a who's a, a big help on the old uh, Patreon and, and and keeping things going in that front. Um, and uh, what else do I have to say? Yes, I'm also looking into this thing, the idea of like a PC gaming club for the tech managers because I discovered that one of the only ways I can get kids excited about things other than computer games that, that, you know, that relates to that is the hardware required to run these things. You can really get some good discussions going and I'm amazed at how much information a lot of these kids, you know, a certain type of kid uh, knows about, um, you know, the processors and, the, and the, the, you know, the CPUs and the GPUs and the motherboards and all the different architecture stuff. I'm amazed at what they've They've, they've researched because they're interested in this stuff. And I'm trying to avoid it becoming just a shopping list, an expensive shopping list for, for kids. Um, I'm hoping to sort of take apart a PC um, online, let them see what, what things are, are in it, and maybe suggest what would be good you know, um, upgrades for it, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm looking into that. So if you've got kids who are interested in that kind of stuff, maybe uh, uh, drop me a line, let me know. Um, probably on Twitter, or you can get me at uh, davidihewlett at gmail.com. That is my public email address. I just warn you, sometimes it takes forever. Sometimes things get ignored because there's just too many other things going on, but you, you're welcome to try. Um, and I'll do my best to try to, um, to, to dig out any, any requests for people who might want to get involved in something like that. Um, uh, but as I say, uh, sign up for the, the Techlets newsletter on thetechbandits.com, and, and you'll, um, you'll, you'll get all the info on that as well. So until we geek again, sweat or not, here I come. Uh, and also happy holidays to everybody, I should say. So cheerio! <laughs>